Hi guys, what's up? All good? Really good to be back in the sports hall doing this because we haven't done any batting bowling all through these three months which were pretty difficult. I hope you are all okay and uh, it's great to be back doing this. The reason we're doing this today is over the last few months obviously we've seen quite a bit of cricket especially that fantastic test series in India that happened and now the ODIs and T20s that's going on which I think is going to be a really close series and one thing that brought it out was a lot of dismissals during that series were LBW and Bolt. Now LBW I can understand especially with the advent of DRS on a turning wicket it's quite difficult for the batsman because previously we all used to take only one side of the edge when on a turner and used to hide our bats a bit behind the pads but now with advent of DRS we have to save both the sides so it is a bit tricky but again the top players use their bat rather than their pads but what is concerning is the amount of dismissals getting bold now we all know that if you go back and check the data that good players do not get bold. Their bold percentage is very low because you only get bold if you are playing someone really quick and you are beaten by pace or someone is reversing and you get done by the swing. But generally, you don't get bold. You might get caught LPW but not bold. So why are people getting bold so much? Now, that's what we're going to talk about. If you see the stumps here, they are 9 inches, okay? And the width of the back is 4.25 inches. So, I'm supposed to protect 9 inches with 4.25. So, it's common sense that if I have to have the odds in my favor, that I need to put the full face of the back on the board. That's common sense. The moment my bat face turns over this way, I'm no longer playing with the full face. I'm playing with literally a stump. And that puts the odds against me. So why is that happening? If you have a look now, if I'm going to be back in here and I tap my bat. When I go up, right, my back face is open and it is at about one and a half slip. Okay? However, if I keep the back here and then pick it up, look what has happened to the back. The back is going up straight, yes, fantastic. But when the back is going to come down, the moment the back passes my back leg, it is going to start closing the face. Okay, so let's see now why that happens. So if I'm tapping the back here, you can have a look that the V of my bottom hand is exactly between the outside edge of the back and the splice. And the V is over the handle, not under the handle. Okay? Now, if I'm tapping the back here, and I come up here, the V stays over the handle. If I tap the bat here and I pick up here, the V is again on top of the handle and the back face is nice and open. However, the moment I shift that and drop this, look where, what happens to the handle. The bat, the V has come under the bat and that is what causes the bottom hand to close, back face to close and that is what we don't want. That is where we are choking the bat. If you see all good players, we have heard a lot about Adam Gilchrist during the World Cup final putting a squash ball in his palm and that was basically to avoid the choking. All good players release the bottom hand so they can get the full face of the bat on the ball. It's a very small thing but it makes a lot of difference. So where you tap your bat and how you pick it up makes a lot of difference at the end product when you're actually meeting the ball 
because your bottom hand lets loose and lets the back face open to access the ball fully. Okay, so that's something very, very important. The bottom hand grip, where the V sits, how we pick it up, how the back face opens, and how this elbow, what position this elbow goes to rather than dropping. The moment you drop it, you're going to be playing with a stump rather than a bat, and the odds are against you. So chances are you're going to miss the ball, get bowled, get LPW. We will show you some clips of great players. Have a look at their back faces, what we are talking about. Some used to keep it really open when they picked up instead of like this. They used to keep it like that. The great Sir Don used to keep it like that. I'll show you a picture on this. The great Brian Lara used to do it, but we'll see pictures of other great players who haven't gone that much, but at least have opened to one and a half slip. But no great player has gone that way. Okay, I put my hand up. There was someone who did really well in international cricket despite having a close face and that was the former South African captain Graham Smith. How he did it, I don't know, but that was more an exception to the rule. I wouldn't advocate that for young players. Now this is something we need to get right quite quickly by the time you're 12, 13, you need to be able to do this because otherwise you're just curtailing your hitting area, stroke making and your chances of hitting the ball sweetly. Hope you liked it, gain something from it and if you did, please do subscribe, like, comment on our channel and till then, see you next time.